interphalangeal joint extension, we've repeated many times, is accomplished by virtue of the contribution of the interosseous muscles in concert with the lumbrical muscles and with some assistance from the extensor digitorum communis. So the central slip, which is the continuation of the extensor digitorum communis, together with the oblique fibers, coalescing and inserting into the central slip insertion, primarily extends the PIP joint. But the lateral bands, with the contribution from the central slip via the conjoined lateral bands, primarily extends the DIP joint. But because this anatomy is intertwined, these two functions of PIP and DIP joint extension absolutely must work together, and therefore you could almost say that it's, it's actually incorrect to say it extends the PIP joint or extends the DIP joint because it never can do this alone. It's simply a concept of where the power is coming from and being primarily distributed to, but along the way the power is also shared. So the interosseous muscles are commonly referred to as reserve extensors of the interphalangeal joints. The lumbrical muscle, as we will discuss in um, the series coming up, is not a very powerful muscle, but it, it frequently contracts and it's nearly always active whenever the finger is moving into any position of extension. The interosseous muscle, as we've just learned, is more variable based on the position of the metacarpal phalangeal joint. But if there's any resistance to extension, which is less common than not, the interosseous muscles respond to the resistance and they say, okay, the lumbrical needs some help, so here I am, I'm ready, I'm going to help and they indeed then participate more in interphalangeal joint extension. This is not a cut and dried, all or none, absolute, not absolute. These muscle fibers, I believe, are magical and they vary in the amount of contraction that's needed in order to meet whatever the resistance is or whatever the, the task is at hand. So the interosseous muscles have a variable amount of participation in interphalangeal joint extension. It is more variable than the lumbrical, but there is greater participation when the MP joint is extension, in extension than when the MP joint is in flexion. Mm -hmm.